What is up, G Crew? I'm Chris G, bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I know I say that in like every video, but um, I guess every video is a little bit different. So today, we're gonna be doing a photo shoot. Anyone can do it, right? So I wanna show people that there's no excuses. So I know there's a lot of people, a lot of friends that are interested in taking photos and stuff like that, but they always tell me, they're like, man, but there's, there's no spot that I know of that's very exotic or cool. I mean, like there's videos that Sam Colder puts out or Aiden Robbins or Andrew James or Mike Visuals and they really go, they go all out on their videos and they go to these really cool places. But we can definitely practice with the smaller things. So for a photo shoot that's very basic, I just want to do it here at home pretty much. So without further ado guys, let's get started with the photo shoot. I think this is gonna be the outfit for the photo shoot guys. Only thing is, I don't know if I should do a hat or without the hat, but regardless, let's actually get started. I'm finally leaving my room. You guys actually never seen my house. So, wow, it looks very weird. I have it on aperture priority, which is like the first time I've ever done that. So it's kind of weird doing that. I usually have it on manual mode. And yeah, we've kind of made it to the location in the kitchen area. So I will probably explain more right now. I don't know, we'll see. Actually, I almost forgot, we need to bring the dogs in. I took the dogs out to go to the restroom. There's Charlie and there's Buster. So we're gonna bring them in and take them to their room. Or not, go to your room. Go. Come on, Charlie. Go. Into the darkness. Come on. Just because you're on camera doesn't mean you can disobey me. Okay. Looks like we gotta fight this one. Go. Go to your Show the people you know how to listen. Show the people of this world. Go to your room, Charlie. Yay! He listens! Sweet. Oof, easy peasy. We just gotta, just gotta throw away, not throw away, we just gotta clean up my little brother's sandals over here. Let's see if I can make it in that little basket. Let's see, let's see, ready? I'm over here. Let's see. Oh! All right, time for the actual photo shoot. And now I just gotta figure out whether I should do it on this table or if I should have my Gorilla Pod, which is what I'm using right now. If I should just set that up, well, I guess I would set that up on the table or just use my tripod, which I have over there. But, um, but yeah. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and just say, you know, yeah, she should do it or just show something uh, that way she can start doing it so I can show her these comments. Um, that way people, you know, that way she sees that people are interested in whatever she's going to do because she has all these cool ideas, but she doesn't execute, to, um, execute them. And I'm all about execution. So like, even this video, right? It's not a crazy video, but at least, you know, it's a video. I'm posting content, I'm doing something, I'm executing, that's what matters. So, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, no. Let's cue the Bureau sequence.
All right, finally, we have come to the, um, I guess, the end of the video. We got the photos, we got all the pictures that we needed. Um, spent a lot of time on, I guess, figuring out what angles to get for like the decor in the house and also just with my personal photo shoot, I kind of just rushed it. I kind of knew already what I wanted to do. I kind of just spent all that time just for one photo versus with my mom's decor, I kind of already knew as well on the style of photos that I wanted to get. I just didn't know what to get. So I was kind of experimenting, um, shooting through things, shooting around things. So this is pretty much what I came up with. So for the photo, uh, for the first photo, we ended up getting um, one of my mom's little signs with the coffee. It says, all I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. So I got it and I put it on our island and I saw that there was a reflection, so I took advantage of that. And it just adds another element to it. So it kind of mixes with the bokeh from the background and the foreground as well. So the next one is, um, like, I don't even, it's like in our front entrance. I don't even know what it's called. My mom probably knows, but mom, if you're watching this, just tell me in the comment section below. Anyway, it says our home. So just pretty much, you know, it's the entrance to our house and the background is, you know, our living room area mixed with our kitchen. So our house is very open. So that's what I like about it. The next photo is, Probably one of my favorite ones. This is probably gonna be my second favorite one of the photo shoot, just because it's a frame within a frame, right? So for those of you that don't know what that is, um, the frame that I used in this photo is the sink. So the sink kind of just loops around whatever I'm actually focused on. So I'm focused on, um, I guess that little, I don't, know, I don't know what those things are called. The next one, I like it. This is probably another one of my favorite ones, probably my third favorite though. Just because it has that equal balance of the, I added two gradients. So one's a white gradient coming from the top of the photo and then a black gradient coming from the bottom of the photo. So it kind of like, they're coming together and it's focused on whatever's in the center of the photo. So obviously it's a little plant. And funny stories, we don't even have that plant at our table. I just found it somewhere and I just put it there. I remember my mom was cleaning and she like took it off. I was like, no mom, I'm using that. Leave it there. Now for the last photo, and the photo that you guys probably saw on the thumbnail, and if it's not on the thumbnail, then whoops, I probably put something else on there. But it's this photo of myself. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of rushed it. I don't know. I don't know how I felt about it, but let me explain. So obviously you saw me taking pictures there at the thing with Bob and um, at my kitchen and I was just chilling trying to get some different photos and my original plan was to get the whole window to be like cropped out so I did that whole process and I cropped myself out long story short I ended up not liking it it didn't look realistic at all so my idea was to replace it with a drone shot to, to give off like a high elevation perspective of whatever window I was looking out of. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new. Those of you that are like waiting for inspiration to just hit, you know, it's not always gonna just go to you. Sometimes you have to find the inspiration. So take photos at home, take photos outside in the backyard, even in your neighborhood. I know there's a lot of crazy things that happen in, in your neighborhood, even just in your front yard. Sometimes there's gonna be bugs that you can take photos of, even like grasshoppers, ants, frogs. I know it sounds silly, but literally if you like go outside and you like look for these little animals and bugs and creatures of whatever kinds, you'll be able to get some pretty dope photos. And if you can get a simple photo from being inside your house and making it look, I don't know, somewhat decent and different, something that's not normal to the eye, that'll be a pretty cool photo. But without further ado guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment and subscribe. Peace.